G'day, this is Bremster, and there's nothing quite as much fun as hanging out on the back veranda. Except this isn't a real veranda, because there's no H at the end, so what can I say? American spelling. Anyway, so this is Veranda by Riff Clown, a nice way for me to kick off the day. Um, so this is a puzzle that is actually pretty much hot off the presses. Apparently this was set today um, in American time. So uh, this puzzle is less than a day old. It's been tested a few times and I've been told it would be very appropriate for my channel, um, very approachable. So this should be one that everyone should get, could get their teeth into. Um, other things running on the channel, there's, of course, my playlist is still running. People can still submit puzzles. All the details are below. Let's just get into the puzzle, shall we? So, uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. We have thermos. So, these are thermo shapes. Along thermos, digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip, which basically means that this digit will be higher than this digit, this digit will be higher than this digit, and that will continue all the way along. They don't have to be consecutive. In fact, in this you know, they could be, um, but uh, they do not have to be. Um, a cell separated by a V must sum to five. Um, and in this puzzle, all Vs are given. So what that means is, uh, yeah, these cells will sum to five. These will sum to five. And these cells cannot. These cells cannot sum to five. So nowhere else in the puzzle, apart from where Vs are given, can there be a sum of five. Um, and then we've got killer cages, um, which will, s the sum of the digits in the cages will be uh, the digit in the top left corner of the cage, if given. So we do not know what the sum of this cage is, um, but what we do know is because digits cannot repeat within killer cages, this digit will not appear in either of those two cells, um, where as normally by Sudoku rules, they could both be fives. They can't in this puzzle because that would be repeating digits within a cage, and that is not allowed. Out. So, let's have a go out on the veranda. Um, where can I start? Well, I can start by selecting all of the Vs, which is what I often do on a XV puzzle. And I can go 1, 2, 3, 4. Except that can't be a 1, so that can't be a 4. And that can't be a 1, because it's partway along a thermo, so that can't be a 4, and this is along a thermo, so I know the order. This is a 2, and this is a 3. This is not 2 or 3, so this is not 2 or 3, so these are not 1 and 4. This is 1, 4, so these are not 1, 4. These are 2 and 3, and I know the order. This is not 2, so this is not 3. This is not 1, so this is not 4. We're getting some progress here. Um... An 18 cage with five, these need to sum to 13. Which I could do multiple ways. I could do multiple ways. But there must be a one and a two. Yeah, there must be a one and a two. So there'll be a one, two here and a one, two on this, whether this is two, three or one, four. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. There's no three in here, so there's no two on here. This is a one four. This is hang on, this has got to be this is one or three. Because it's got to be lower than four and it can't be two. I'm missing something obvious. Oh, this is a one. That'll do it. The four one. Um what about this thermo? Is this more restricted than I think? Well, that's now a three. So this is now a four. This is a one. This is not a one. This is two, three. So I've got one, two, three in this killer cage. So these are either four, eight, or five, seven. Four, eight, five, seven. That can't be four. So that can't be eight. This is two, three, that's the three, that's the two. This is the two and this is the three because of the three looking down. And which thermo is under the most pressure? It actually feels like this one. 
is under the most pressure because there's a lot of low digits and I haven't put anything on this thermo yet, whereas all the others I've put stuff on. So this has made 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, but this can't be 1, 2, or 3. So this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8, and this is 9. So this can't be 8, so this can't be 4, this, this is a 7, so this is a 5. Okay, so 6 and 7 have to go in here. The 7 goes in here, the 6 goes in here. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm not as restricted with 8s and 9s. Now, let's do the same up here because I've now got a whole heap of high digits point. Actually, let's just mark this in because this is 1, 4, 6, and 7. But I can't put 1 or 4 along that thermo. So this is a 6 and 7 on a thermo. I know the order. So this is a 5. This is an 8, 9 which means this has to be an 8, 9, because that digit cannot go down there, and none of those are 8s and 9s. So those will be the same digit. This is not 6 or 7. This is not 6 or 7. Um, so these are 6, 7, 8, 9, but I'm not sure. Okay, this is a triple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9. Now, this can't be the 9 and this can't be the 5 because this has to increase. Now, this has a maximum of 6. So this is 4 or 5, and it can't be 5. This is the 4. This is the 1. This is the 4. Cool puzzle so far. Five, oh, this is a 5 because it was 5, 6, or 9 for the row, which and 6 and 9 were already in the box. So this is the 6. This is the 9. I love puzzles like this. I really do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, two, three, and four. There's no four there. There is no three or four there. So that's the two. This is the three. This is the four. Puzzles like this where you can just use the constraints you've got and just get your teeth into them and just do stuff. Real fun. Seven, eight, nine. There is no nine there. So nine is in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. There is no five there. Yeah, okay, this is feeling a little bit less. So I haven't resolved this thermo, but there seems to be a lot less pressure on that thermo. Is it being sneaky? Let's look at this column first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, eight, nine. Or I could just use the Sudoku clues that I've got, you know, just as a something a bit different. That's a one. That is absolutely a one. And I could have done it by Sudoku, but I actually saw it by saying I couldn't put a one next to a four. So, but either way. So these are six, seven, eight, nine, and there's no nine in them. There's no seven there. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine up here. And there must be a nine in there. Uh, I'm slowing down. Two is in one of those two. Five is down here. Okay, let's look at this thermo. This can be nine, this can be eight, this can be seven. This is a four, because it can't be six or five. So this is a four. So this is this can't be seven. Wait, so this has a maximum of six. So this is five or six. This can't be six, so it's seven or eight, eight or nine. Ooh, I missed, there'd be something. That's a two. That is absolutely a two because two can't go in that column at all and I can't put two next to three unless there's a V there and those can't be two because of that two. That is a two. So that is not a two. It gives me an eight, nine pair, which makes that a six and this is not a six, which makes this an eight, which makes this a nine. There's an eight, nine pair there. So this is a two. 
eight, nine. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one and three. And I know the order. That's the one, that's the three. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. Well, there's no seven. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm actually going to undo that because I'm while that was stuff, this seven is looking across making that eight, making that nine, making that nine, um, making that eight, making that nine. I was... I could have done this, but I was getting distracted by the stuff I could see. So I'll come back to it. This is now a triple, six, seven, and eight. Um, I can't put a seven in the middle. Um, six comes out of those, seven out of there. Um, and now I'm going to come back to this. So this was five, seven, and eight, I think. There's no seven in there anymore. Was it? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Yes. Um, there's no eight in there. Actually, that's five. That's six. There's no, so this is seven and eight. One, two, three. Um, these are one and five, and we know the order five and one from the one down here. Two, <laughs> two, because I can't put two next to a three. So one, two, three, four, five, seven. Um, these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That can't be seven. That can't be eight or nine, so that is seven, so that can't be seven. So that's eight, which takes eight out of those. That becomes seven, nine. Uh, there was no eight in there anyway. This is the six. There's no six in here. There's no five in here. This is an eight, nine pair. That and that are the same. So in here, uh, I couldn't put eight, nine anyway. So this cage, I think, is just here to, for symmetry purposes. And I approve. I like symmetry in my puzzles. Um, these are two and five, and they are resolved. Five and two. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's a one seven there. So that's the three. And that's the seven, and that's the one. That takes seven out of there. There's a whole heap of stuff I haven't removed that I could have. Like, that's not a nine. So this is five, six, and eight, but it's not an eight. What are these? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the six, that's the five, that's the four. That's not a five, that is a six, eight pair. Eight, nine, of course, takes eight, nine out of there, makes this the six, this the eight, this the seven, this the five, uh, this the six, eight, nine pairs. Oh, the seven looks down, making that nine, that seven, that eight, that nine, that eight, that nine, and another really short puzzle, and I don't mind, because we got to hang out on the veranda. Um, yeah, that was really cool. Um, I like nice, simple puzzles with some good logic in them, and I, I like a good negative constraint puzzle, and... Yeah, the way these thermos bounced off each other, all good fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed a nice relaxing puzzle, um, something to just while away a nice break during the day. Um, and I will almost certainly be back with something a little bit more challenging soon. Um, if you really want some of the challenging puzzles, have a look at the Race to 37 stuff, because the stuff I've been recording recently, yeah, I've been having some troubles with, so we'll see how it all goes. Um, there's lots of content around, so I'm sure you'll be able to find a lot of, uh, a lot of puzzles. Thank you everyone for watching, and as always, good luck with your solving.